quickly bow your heads in respect to just how much right, Captain guys, America gear I have. Drop last yeah, I'm just another old guy trying to figure out how to keep the attention of you millennials. So, Stay the hell off my porch. Good rest of stance, trying to just initiate the inside color ties, I kind of play. Come here, some hand to re engages. I do the steering wheel one time, I come back, I pop, and get that underhook that I showed uh, previously a couple weeks ago. But this time I got a savvy opponent, and she wins the head position. So she beats me out here in the head position. I'm trying to wrestle it back, and on this far side hand, we're both trying to hand fight, which is typical of a lot of times. So she actually ends up winning the hand fight right here. Which, so she's won the head position, she thinks she's in a good spot. My hand is in the underhook. I release, come through, and I get the arm drag. The arm drag allows me to create an angle to get the double leg. So I get there, hit across, put her across, got the double leg. Got a opponent. So now my she opponent is able to hip escape away and recover the half guard and get their knee shield in. I like to navy ride is. that top leg because it takes away top side underhook essentially gives you a lower underhook on your opponent. Now since my opponent's head's too far away to cradle, I just grab the top side wrist, pull, and feed it to my hand that's in the navy ride. So first I wanted to show how to deal with a common reaction. Some opponents, whenever their arm is around your head, they'll just naturally try to clasp their hands together and try to squeeze your head. So in those cases where you can't pop your head out, instead of going to the cradle, just stay on the same side and go to the arm through choke. So here my opponents clasp their hands together, so I trap their arms, come around their neck, dig my shoulder into their neck, keep my knees off, off the ground, blade my hip, and squeeze for their tight bond through So that's if they wrap their hands together. Now, the actual technique, like I did it, Came through, I captured the hand, pulled her back, passed her hand off, created the hole. Got my head in, got to my hip, popped up the cradle, got my leg in, bunched, just like last week, double bunch. Trapped her bottom leg with my foot right there, and then right here, I'm just releasing. Releasing, come around the head, get my hands together, Elbow right against the spine, right there. It just kind of keeps them in place. As you do that right there, come through. Now here's the big thing that's different about this arm triangle. The finishing mechanism, this arm triangle, I'm not just gonna belly out. This is just being lazy right there. Just keeping this, this knee is gonna finish right here. It helps your opponent get flat and escapes like, prevents the bail out. You just go flat. A lot of times they're just gonna escape, run out, and might hit your own leg, telephone moves. Then you're in for a fight. If I can give any advice to you, like lower level, lower belt guys, like anytime you got a chance to be more technical, like just jump on that because even if you're getting away with it right now, the longer you're in the game, the guys you're going to go against could be better. And you're, everybody hits plateaus if you train long enough, but if you worry, if you concentrate more on your technique and then the win and the losses, it'll prevent the burnout and you'll you'll do a lot better in the long run. Sorry for the long Anyways, tangent there, right but it is sound I'm advice. Got it. I like, my, I like to get my shoulder in. My head gets buried right against the shoulder. And like I said, finish. If your opponent is Weapon X, like I said, pinch the nose, break the eyes. Weapon X, you have to go for the kill every time because she heals like the Wolverine, hence the name Weapon X.